is purpose, praise, price, power, perspective, perseverance, and prayer. What people need to see is love. That's right. And I don't care whether you're a liberal or a conservative, I don't care if you're a Democrat or a Republican, if you're a Tory or, you know, it doesn't matter what country you're in, politics everywhere that I've been, and we've been a lot of places, is always a mess. The simple fact of the matter is, it's not only about loving the people who love you. Even the Gentiles can do that. Even the unbelievers can do that, Jesus said. It's about your ability to do what the world can't do, and that's love those who hate you. Yes. And people can see. They'll, they'll not understand it. And people may be drawn to you to find out why you do that. Why do you pray for your enemies? Why do you love your enemies? You know why? Because God has poured His love into our hearts. Because He loves them. And, and because He told us to, to do it. Mm -hmm. And He gave us the example. Because I'm going to tell you something. God hates sin. Yes, He does. He prayed for sinners. Every sinner. Yes. While He hung on that cross. Yes, He did. How do we know what love is? We know love by this, that while we were yet sinners, he died for us. He went to that cross. That's, that's when what happens is when you don't use that foul language that the world uses now, and it's totally terrible, right? But you're, you have a, a you, the, the tongue of the righteous is as choice silver. It's a fountain of life. When you return a gentle, a gentle answer. answer to a harsh, a harsh word, word, yes. So when you start doing this, people will see the difference in you. And they'll be drawn to that. Now, that doesn't mean everybody is. No. But there's somebody. But there's somebody who will see the difference in you. See what a difference the Lord has made in your life. Mm -hmm. And they'll be drawn to say, you know, why is that? And you'll be able to say, it's because of the love of God. Right. And that's the best sermon you can preach. And you don't need to go to the seminary to find that out. No, you don't no. need to go to Bible college to, to find that out. No, I, I've said this to a lot of people. You know, I've, I've started in pastor churches. And I've had people come up to me and say, well, you know, that person has only been saved. So if you got saved yesterday, I promise you, you know today that God loves you. Yes. You now have enough to go out and preach to somebody else. Go out and tell somebody else that God loves them. Because you weren't special and he's no respecter of men. That's right. He's no respecter of persons. If you know that God loved you and that God died for all people, for all sinners, you know enough to share the good news of Jesus Christ. Do it. You've got to do it. And like I said, you don't have to go stand, bang a, a pail at work and stand up. All you have to do is be living the word. like Christ. Yes. Walking like Christ. Talking like Christ. Let loving the, like let Christ. Let the fruit of the Holy Spirit be evident in your life. You have the tools to do the ministry that God has called you to, whatever He's called you to. And what He has, the, the one thing you need to know, what He has called you to, His purpose in your life, is that you represent Him here on this planet. I, you know, it, we, I'm trying to not overdo this, but it boils down to how it's simple. I mean, does you, should it take you four years of a Bible college to learn this? You're the salt of the earth. The light of the world. You're the light of the world. The world is becoming darker day by day. Mm. You're the light. Why? Because you carry the light within you. Just be there. Be available. Be available. Yeah. And don't be afraid, afraid to praise Him. That was the second thing. That's His right. purpose. Praise. praise. Peter said that we are to proclaim the excellencies of Him who has called us out of darkness and into His marvelous light. So don't be afraid. I'm going to tell you something. Never be afraid to tell somebody why these good things are going on in your life. Mm -hmm. It's because of Jesus. That's right. That means to praise Him. Tell, him. tell Him that you serve a mighty God. You serve a God that you love. Praise is not just about singing songs in a church. Yeah. You know, if I tell you that Alice is a wonderful wife, if I tell you that Alice is a wonderful cook, if I tell you how great she is, I'm not singing songs. Oh, maybe my heart is. Yeah. <laughs> but that's Praise. Is it not true? Yes, it is. If I tell you how faithful Mark is as a, as a brother in the Lord, yes. that's praise. Yes. So when you tell somebody that you serve a mighty God, that God is blessing you, you're praising Him. 
But think about David when he came into Jerusalem, was on his way into Jerusalem, and he was dancing before the Lord. He was a man of praise, and his praise was unabridged. Unab he just praised God. His wife, Michal, it says, hated him because of that. Yes. Not everybody's going to love you because you praise God. Not everybody's going to love you because you love the Lord. And that becomes the place where you start to pay the price. But once you pay the price, you're going to begin to see the power of God. Yes. And that's what you need to serve God. You can't do it without power. God's love Above the heavens God's love Deeper than the sea His love Higher than the mountains God's love Always watching over you